Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. And I was working with a customer last night who was working with the Yaesu FT8900 radio to get repeaters for British Columbia. And there's another video out there that showed me building that file and getting British Columbia and getting into the file what the 8900 could do. But in an earlier version of this conversation, he mentioned that he's got the AnyTone 878. And so I just want to show you how we can take that from the 8900 to the 878 and then add the digital repeaters, which I played with this morning and was surprised what I found, and give him a complete radio on the 878. Let's get started. This is my file for the 8900. This is my file for the 878. I want everything from here in here, and I want to add the digital, the DMR repeaters, because they're not in the FM radio file, because the FM radio can't listen to them. So we're going to start here in the 8900. I clicked on the first number, not just the receive frequency. That won't help. I clicked on the first number, and I type Control A. Control C, and I reach over here and I go Control V, and it's there. File, save. This is working with the database in the background. It's a little different than the older files because it's a big file and things are very related to each other. So give it a chance. Save a little more often. And I'm going to go into this test file dated today because it was just something I was working on a minute ago. Or name the file. That's a typical computer move. Now, let me remind you that in the 878, I can edit and go to analog mode. And all my digital columns just went away. The ones that I don't need to worry about. So if I needed to adjust tones, if I needed to set up a scan list, it's just easier to find it. Those other columns don't apply anyway. But let's talk about scanning. Scan list. This is analog. Edit. I can put 50 in here. So let's put the first 50. There's counter at the top. It'll tell me when I get there. And tell it OK. And analog 2. And edit. And I went to 50. All the numbers are here. I'm going to start at 51. It's finger wiggle. I'm just clicking this add button. I could go to the other side and pick a whole bunch of them, but in all honesty, it's easier just to wiggle your finger and get them in there. And OK, you get the idea. Like I said, save the file. Now we go into memories. And this is a kind of interesting thing about these radios. Scan list. I can pick analog or analog 2. Channel number one is in analog. And I can scan these 50 up to number 50 with analog. But I can assign this to analog two. And when it scans, it will scan all 50 in analog two and the channel it's on. Your choice. But let me show you how easy it is to do. Let's go ahead and put it in the one that it's in. Control C, shift down arrow. And I only want it in the first 50 and Control V. That scan group will start from any of those channels now. 
I want these in analog two, control C. And that should go to 100, might go to 99, so we won't push it. But the thing is, I can put analog on any of these others that are not in a scan group, or I can put analog two if that's got my favorite channels in it. And then when I'm on any of these channels that are for some reason not included in a scan group, and I start scanning, it'll scan that group. So this is a matter of organization. You think about what channels you want to listen to when and break them down into the groups. You can have a bunch of scan groups. You can make it so it's only scanning three or four channels. You could make it, you can have 250 scan groups. You can mix digital and analog. Doesn't care. It'll go back and forth between them. It's a matter of organization. Then when you go to the memories, you can make those scan groups available as you want. Some of these repeaters may be so far off, you don't want another scan group because you're not going to hear those repeaters anyway. So you get the idea. Always remember it will include the channel it's on, which I found to be just a really interesting thing about it. But then when it scans, I can pick analog two. This channel's not in analog two, but it'll sure scan that group of memory channels that were assigned to analog two. Okay, enough on scanning. Now let's have some fun and build some digital. First, let me see where I am. I'm going to need this number. I'm on number, let's go to 335. And I want the digital repeaters for British Columbia. File. External data, repeater list, Canada, and you have to pick it out of the list. You type in British Columbia in its entirety. Do not abbreviate. And you search. And there they are. Just that quick and easy. Coming back from the internet, from the registered source for this, I want to start on channel 335 and I apply. And there they are. You saw them appear down there at the bottom. You now have all the digital repeaters in your area. Now, let me tell you something about scanning these. Because you can do the same thing. You can go over here and you can put them in a scan list and you can assign them and you can scan them and you won't hear anything. Because unless you're ID'd into it, you won't hear anything. Unless you set up digital monitoring. Settings, radio menu settings. We have two choices here. We can use a key function, take maybe PF3, PF2. I'd suggest you put it on a long press. And there it is, digital monitoring. Now, when you press and hold the PF3 key on the radio, which I think is the button on the top, it will turn on digital monitoring. You can also make it so that it's on whenever you send the file to the radio. This is under Digital Vox, Digital Monitor. We want single slot or double slot, which lets you listen to one of the time slots or both of the time slots. And you want any color code, digital monitor color code. You want any of them, because if you if you got to have the same one, you're in trouble. 
because they may not be coming in with the one that you have set up on it. So tell it any. Now you're ready to listen. You'll hear all the activity on that repeater. One more thing, and I'm going to do this quickly. First of all, let me take it out of analog and let me put it in digital mode and watch the top of the screen. Where'd they go? All the analog channels went away, so now I only have my digital channels. They're still there. And notice I'm on the repeater slot just as it was set up in that list, and I have the color code as it was set up on that list. But the next thing I have, this may be your local repeater. And you want a bunch of talk groups that you can access with it. So let's do one more thing. First of all, talk groups. And you've built a list of talk groups in here. You've gone out, you've gotten Brandmeister, or you've gotten TGIF as needed. Do not count on these numbers. I'm making them up. Save often. Now, let's go back to memories. 146.12 is the one I want to set up right now. Again, I'm going to go to the bottom because I don't want to mess up what I've already done. And I'm going to go to settings and DMR calculator. 146.12 and 146.70, 72, sorry, 146.72 plus direction. And I want all my talk groups. And I want zone one, 250 available. And I'm going to apply. Check the starting channel, color code. If there was a color code, you need to bring this information with you. Repeater slot, you need to bring this information with you from wherever that channel was up above. And apply. And there they are. And we close this and look over here in the zone. Those were added to the zone and they're ready to go. Of course, all the rest of it needs to be added to zones. We need an analog zone. And we're going to scarf off all the analogs. I can put 250 in here, so I'll get most of them into this analog zone. And I may want a digital zone. I'm going to have to have more than one analog. And I do digital and click edit and come down to my digital group and move them into it because I want to use them separately. One's going to be noise to the other anyway. So I want to isolate them. Again, organization how you want them together. I may want a home group that has this one, this one, this one, and this one in it. And now they're in it and I'm ready to go. All in the organization, how you want to set it up and have it. Save it, send it to your radio, put your call sign in, put your radio ID and your name or your call sign in. You're well on your way to getting this file set up so you can use that DMR radio. Hope this helps. And remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.